Hi, Nancy. Could you introduce yourself and tell us about your medical background? Yes. Hi, my name is Nancy Williamson. I come to Cure with about two decades of experience in retail and rehabilitation hospital pharmacy. I am so proud to be here and provide information regarding the new medical marijuana treatment available to the patients of Pennsylvania. <clears throat> so can you tell us a little bit about why you got involved with medical marijuana? Yes, I've, I have so, I've been so passionate about the medication that's available to the patients of Pennsylvania. I've always been able to read a lot of uh, articles regarding medical marijuana, and I believe in all the benefits can provide to so many different ailments. Um, this medication is a safe medication if dosed appropriately, and it acts widely throughout the body and it, via the endocannabinoid system. Ooh, can you tell us a little bit about the endocannabinoid system? Sure. Um, all of us are, could produce and make our own cannabinoids uh, throughout our body. This medical marijuana plant provides a multitude of endocannabinoids, which the grow processors are able to extract and form into medications. So the patients are able to supplement their body with cannabinoids that they might not be producing on their own. So I've heard a little bit about cannabinoids, uh, specifically CBD and THC. Can you tell us a little bit about THC? Yes, uh, THC is tetrahydrocannabinoid. This is the active ingredient in medical marijuana that has the potential to cause some psychoactive effects. But as you mentioned, there is also CBD or cannabidiol. These two work in concert together. Uh, they, uh, the THC is, uh, if you even get into a one-to-one -one ratio, the THC can uh, actually be blocked by, the psycho effects can be blocked by the CBD, but in concert they work together to provide the best medicinal therapeutic effect for a patient. So you said that marijuana is therapeutic. Can you explain how safe and therapeutic marijuana is? Yes, here at uh, Cure we guide each patient towards their decision of a dosage and also a form of medication for, uh, to alleviate their symptoms. Um, we do work with a patient and, just, and go over every single type of product that is available. The, uh, here at Cure, we want every patient to start very low with their dosing and increase slowly. You work towards um, a maximum therapeutic benefit without any unwanted side effects. If you keep increasing that dose, um, you could get into an uncomfortable experience and we try to guide everyone towards a regimen of just meeting that maximum therapeutic benefit. So when you say a maximum therapeutic benefit, uh, can you tell me if you can overdose on marijuana like you can on opioids? Oh, I'm glad you brought that up. Um, in this time of the terrible opioid epidemic, um, I am so proud to be here and I would like everyone to understand that this is a definite alternative to opioids. It is a pain treatment that uh, will not cause uh, death, whereas in opioid um, medications, an excessive dose can lead to serious harm to one's body and it can also lead to death. No one has ever died from a marijuana overdose. Wow, that's amazing information, and I'm pretty excited to hear that patients in, in Pennsylvania will have access to marijuana. Um, you're full of valuable information, so can you tell us where people could come and ask you questions, either in person or online? Oh, definitely. Uh, you can go to curepen.com. Um, our website has, is filled with tons of information, and you can also go on there to schedule an appointment to be seen here at our Phoenixville location and also in our uh, Lancaster location. And if you can follow us on Facebook, we are constantly updating with tons of informational um, things for you to read. All right, awesome. Thank you, Nancy. Have yeah. a great day. That's great. Thank you.